Yeah. And I think, uh, I think to me, it's just like when you, when it, it, with guys in that, that far red pill space, when you tell them they're, you guys are hurt men. Yeah. That's they, it triggers them. Yeah. Because it makes. No, it triggers if, if it trick if it triggers them, it triggers them because you are having an emotionalist conversation with emotionalist goals and they are trying to have an empirical debate with you. They're trying to say, here are the numbers, Hafiz. Here's what's going on in the real fucking world. How do you parse that out? Tell me. I, 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 would, I would like to know. How do you parse th that data out with your belief set? Because you're having this argument with the goal of, is this right? Is this wrong? Does it feel good? Does it not feel good? Uh, how, what's positive about that? Where's the positivity? Where's the love in all of this, right? That's the goal. And I'm not saying that that's not even necessarily a bad goal, but when we're talking past each other, it's because my goal is to show you the data and show you the empirical material ob observable facts here and say, well, what do you think of it? Is this true or is this not true? It doesn't matter because you're not focused on whether it's true or it's not. You're focused on whether it feels good or it doesn't or I'm a bad person, or I'm a good person. That's the that's what you're trying to, that's the end state of whatever your debate is all about. I made this, or I read this on last Sunday's show. But again, it's all in emotions. They they presume that, our, that all, every human being's priority should be based on this emo emotional, uh, are you hurt? Are you not hurt? Uh, you need to deal with the hurt first and then come back to me. No, you need to deal with the data and then come back to me. That's what you need to do. It makes them feel like you're emasculating them. But I think we don't understand like what hurt means. To be hurt is to be human. And a lot of times when you have a, a visceral attitude towards somebody, it usually comes when you really value and love a person. So I always say that's why some of your arguments with your siblings are some of the most contentious or a spouse mm. contentious. Because the more you feel, the more you potentially can idolize someone, the more you can potentially demonize individual as well. So with a lot of these guys, it's like they put so much into women and into all women. So I don't want to say women, into all women. And when that woman hurts him in any way, shape, whether it's, you know, something as simple as she just didn't want him because she wasn't interested to where she hurt him or cheated on him. Now that creates this anger and, and hurt animosity towards everybody to where now you go online. Okay. How many emotions did Hafiz just describe? How many, how many emotions did he just use? Love, hurt animosity uh what else i mean you could just run down like re rewind that part right how many different emotions did he just describe in presuming that that's the right that's the goal state that's where we ought to be the, these guys are angry they're angry at what they're angry at women no they're angry at themselves if anything and why are they why would they be angry at themselves because now they have this data and they understand that the life that they have built for themselves up to that point was based on bad data, was based on a rule set and an old order way of thinking that nobody was really using, although they thought it was. And it felt good to think and it was their idealistic way of, of approaching love and life and everything else was going to everybody else was going to do. We're all playing on the same rule set. No, no, we find out that we're not. Now we find out what the data sets are. Now we find out that women want, you know, a guy who's economically attractive. We find out that he they will want the guy who's got the six pack abs, the six feet tall, six figure income, you know, um, V whatever. We can look at the the empirical data set after data set after data set. If they're angry or they're frustrated or if the emotional response is is to anything, it's to that. It's to the belief that this the oh my god, I've wasted part of my life. I mean, hopefully you find out about the red pill, guys. I hope you find out about the red pill in your 20s. You know, hopefully you find out about it in your teens, right? But I think you kind of have to have this sort of lived experience before you can really appreciate it. But let's just say for sake of an argument, you find the red pill at 25, you're in, a, you're in pretty good shape, but you're still probably pretty pissed because you have most likely made decisions or you've had experiences or maybe you had that painful lesson that you learned because you didn't understand the game. You didn't understand that 
the women that you were trying to get with or the women that might have hurt you, according to Hafiz, the reason why you got hurt is because you have bad data, bad data from guys just like Hafiz. That's why that idealistic Pollyanna, you know, deer in the headlights look, you know, glazed over saccharine smile. And then you've got Michaela Peterson over here who, you know, by and by most of these guys standards would probably be like, oh, she's pretty cool. She's pretty hot. I mean, she's got a 23 year old boyfriend right now. I'm sure he probably qualifies as most of those, most of those dudes. So, so when we, if you're going to criticize these guys and say they're angry, at least do them the service, the courtesy of saying, well, why, why did they get to that? Why did they come to that? It's not because I told them, you know, you should really not like women or you should really protect yourself. Oh, you know, uh, be Mr. You know, be a cold hearted son of a bitch. Like the Rolo's telling them all to do that. No, no, I'm not. In fact, I get in trouble for not telling them that I show data sets. I, I, I'm the, I'm the one who is using the same data as the guys she's interviewing or Chris Williamson is interviewing or God knows who else is interviewing, right? And they're going to interview Rob, her dad, right? Uh, Jordan Peterson. I use his data. I use uh, God sod's data. I use Rob Henderson's data. I use uh, Rolf's data. I, you guys know, I use the, I use these data sets all the time, but they have no comeback to any of that. You're just hurt. You're just, the reason why you're even bringing that up is because you have some deep seated angst and some horrible thing. Who hurt you? Let's go. Let's do uh, uh, was it uh, childhood regression therapy and see where all of this comes from. No, no, we won't. We don't have to because I'm not I'm not in any way hurt. I am showing you data sets. I am trying to be as close to objective rationale reasoning as I possibly can, but that's not the argument that we're having. That's not the debate. 